Okay, after a long, long time, Razer OS is back. New Razer Edition, which has all the Razer goodies, new dynamic wallpapers, some interesting gaming static wallpapers, new widget at the home screen, and some bit of another UI changes. Now we have available for Redmi Note 10 Pro. I'm the maintainer of this one. We have a MIUI Razer Edition 12.5.9 stable version based on Android version 11. It's based on Android 11. Upcoming update might be available based on Android 12 and MIUI. 13 but right now it's here i was just testing it and i thought i shall release this thing looks quite good this is about the latest mui 12.5 based razor edition and if you know mui razor edition a lot of users love this one maybe in upcoming future we might have the updates for other devices very soon but this is the first one for Redmi Note 10 pro and pro max users this is quite smooth by the way i tried i tested control center seems to be buttery smooth as you can see it's super smooth even though i have applied the dynamic volume wallpaper and if you like this dynamic wallpaper make sure to install this room for sure i think so you will love this thing the quick settings panel or basically the control center looks same here of course we will not get the miui 13 one it's actually miui 12.5 so yes don't expect the miui 13 things also if you're able to see the recent panel is like ios one so that's this is a modded launcher which we are using right now here this is the ios kind of recent panel which you have and this is the option which you have if you want to enable if you want to install if you want to open any app in a floating window you can use that very easily looks quite good you can simply enable or disable these options this is a dyna dynamic wallpaper which i was just telling about and moving on to the safety net status which matters a lot by default safeness status has no issues you'll be able to use banking apps on your device but if you want to root your device like i have rooted my device you can still be able to use the banking apps you can see safeness status is passing here you simply need to hide magic from settings or you need to en enable the edges from settings and you are good to go moving on to the theming section which means by default i have these options available some wallpapers from these gaming wallpapers are already present there if you like these wallpapers you can use and install these things on a device let me just sign in with my device with my id for sure we also have some fonts customizations in the previous updates of these rooms we didn't have these much fonts available but in this one we have many fonts options available for example if you want to apply any kind of font here you don't need to reboot your device to apply any fonts as you can see the fonts have been applied the themes have the option to import you can simply import the third party themes or this is the default theme the extra theme which is added here other themes have been removed this is the theme which you have installed called origin style and this is actually one of my favorite ones this is how it is looking like the status bar icons are looking quite good the icon pack seems to be quite interesting one this is what we have already installed you don't need to install any kind of other things for that this is by default available if you apply any kind of default wallpapers or default theme this is almost same no major changes here and as i just mentioned dynamic wallpapers are one of the main highlights about this one in my opinion dynamic wallpaper looks quite good if i move on to the wallpapers and personalization section library and here we have a dynamic wallpapers for example if i try to apply this wallpaper set both and this is done this is the dynamic this is the second dynamic wallpaper and this one is also looking quite good as you can see game on make sure to try out this for sure of course including that some bit of extra things includes dpi changer if you need this in my case i sometimes use that feature refresh rate is of course 60 and 120 dpi changer if you want to use any other dpi and any other display size on your device you can simply customize that without rooting your device without having any kind of extra things this is a default launcher and we have many kind of home screen layout options available here for you not only three or four we have many so this looks quite good as is always all the credit and everything is already available in the description at the change log everything is already there make sure to check out that download link is also available in the description installation is same like other custom rooms if you move on to the security section this is almost like china ones this is what i have installed you don't get these options by default in this update yes we have this some china's options already present security section has almost china options or china's the security app is what included in this one which i thought might be a good choice for you new gaming mode is also included new privacy protection options the battery also has same kind of things if you move on to the battery option if you are able to see the temperature it's looking as normal 
in the previous updates it was showing as temperature but in the new updates we have the normal cool like this so yes this is the new one which you have already installed special features game turbo video toolbox everything is almost same it's based on the official one it's not a ported one so keep this thing in your mind and i don't find major bugs here anything so far we have this modified power menu also available where simply double tap at the center of the circle to enable the reboot to recovery and reboot to bootloader options etc etc some things which i just want to let you know i think so i've already shared with you these were things i just want to let you know about overall this room is quite good and smooth enough and of course this is me why so just don't compare it with any kind of avsp rooms at all but if you compare it with MIUI, I think so you might love this one. Link is already in the description alongside with all the credits and etc. These were things I just want to let you know. I hope you like this. If you like this, don't forget to like and share this. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through.